And so, because the rule now is, if I feel sorry for you, I'm good. Right, and so, so let's say there's a complex situation that requires a tremendous amount of adult cognitive computation to solve. Like, what do we do about the borders? Because tearing them down is not the answer. Well, the person who stands up and says, well, I see someone who's hurt by a border and I feel empathy for them, then immediately says, therefore I'm good, which isn't so bad, but therefore I'm also morally superior to you. And this is, this is one of the true pathologies of the empathic collectivists, is that they presume that their reflexive empathy marks them out as morally superior. And that's appalling because part of it is, A, it's too easy. Just because I feel sorry for you doesn't mean I'm good. Partly because I can feel so sorry for you that I'm actually harmful to you. And that's what happens in the case of overprotective parents, for example. So we know perfectly well that that empathy is not an untrammeled moral virtue. It has to be tempered by other virtues and carefully tempered by other virtues. And so we have to stop allowing in our public discourse the unquestioned assumption that just because I manifest more pity in the moment than you do, that I'm somehow a morally superior individual. Yes. In fact, not only do we have to question that, we in fact have to, we have to deeply question it and say, what makes you think that you're that you're just not taking things too far, right there. Because there's right. just as much error on the side of too much empathy as there is on the side of too little empathy. And, and that's a hard thing for everyone to learn because empathy feels so good. Like if you feel mercy towards a suffering child, it's like that is kind of an indication that you're an ethical person. But there, that's not the basis for complex and sophisticated right. foreign policy. Well, is, we, we know it isn't because it, We, we know our empathy diminishes in an almost linear way with the numbers of, of people to empathize with, right? So we spoke about this one, yes, one night yes. in Vancouver, but this has been tested where if you, if you tell someone that the, about the plight of one little girl, you will elicit the maximum empathic response and the, ma the maximum of, of an altruistic response. They'll, they'll give the most amount of money they're going to give to any cause to one compelling story to save one little boy or girl. But if you start adding boys and girls to the, to the one, keeping the one the same, people's empathy degrades and their actual uh, their altruism degrades. So, so empathy is non-quantitative almost by well, definition. It's, it's also partly because in your life, if you see a person in trouble, yes, you might be able to, to do help. something yes, about right. them. But if you see a hundred, million yeah. people in trouble, yeah. what you should probably do at least to begin with is run. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, what are you going to do? It, 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 you, maybe you could give $1,000 to one person, but, yeah. but if you divided that up among a million, all that would happen would you would, right. you would, be have, you would have no money and they wouldn't yeah. be any better off. But, 